It took about five years to get the diagnosis. So I was 25 when I found out. So it took that whole time to find out that I actually had Parkinson's. Um, so that I was on different medications, tried those. Um, and I went into a bit of denial to start with and just carried on life as normal. Very confusing because I'm obviously young. So I didn't understand how I could have got it that young. That was the weirdest part. I think that's why at first I didn't process it because it was just such a shock to be told at that age, oh, actually you've got this disease, but everything you know about it normally, it's, it's for older people. And more of a relief than anything, because when the medication started working, I could actually move normally again. And I didn't realize how bad I'd been until I could start to move normally. I think ex exercise and diet are really important for Parkinson's. You've got to find something that you enjoy doing. So try lots of different activities and see what you actually like, because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to be able to continue with it. But it is, it's massively important. I've noticed a huge difference in myself, symptoms wise and mentally, because I do so much exercise. And you don't necessarily have to do loads, do what feels right for you. Like I train every day and do some sort of activity every day. But if that doesn't feel right for your body, then do something else or maybe just go for a walk to start with. Because although it's horrible to get a Parkinson's diagnosis, it might feel like the end of the world, but it's not. I just have like a little friend that's sometimes not my friend that sits on my shoulder and I just have to carry on as normal with that and not let it get me down. Try and find a positive in every day and think of something. If you have one less symptom in one day, hold on to that for the rest of the week. Be positive and then you'll, you'll naturally start to get better anyway because your mind will change. That's what I want to say.